Hello everybody and welcome back to Undertale. Uh, today we're going to poke around town a little bit more and then we're going to follow up with Sands and Papyrus. So let's see what else this delightful little town has to offer. Delightful is going to be a very common word in this Let's Play, I can assure you. Uh, let's check out Grillby's. Ooh, first. Okay, first off, this is cool. Give me a second. Uh, 646, so I want to go till 706 or 716, something like that. Yeah, just doing, uh, just checking my timer. Okay, should really get a clock in here. Alright, so we can check around. Looks like these are all guys I've fought before, at least mostly. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump in your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> I bet he will. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. <laughs> Let's see, what do you have to say? No matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Ah, help, I just want drinks and hot guys. Well, don't we all? What even are you? You look like a drunk rabbit. And you look like that thing from Little Shop of Horrors. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Well, it is pretty good, I must say. Eh, most of these people we already know, I think. Eh, it's stuck to you. Da 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 da. Grillby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh god damn it! I uh, put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the guy that put out the uh, the fishing line earlier. Oh, that's... that's awesome. Let's check out the library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> Delightful. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Well, apparently. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Well, that's all I use these newspapers for, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm number one. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Out of curiosity, are you the only word search creator? Just curious. Not to sound like a dick, but... Doesn't seem like there are relatively too many people down here. Let's check out the books. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page middle me yet? I'm kind of getting sick of writing this. <laughs> Well, regardless of your terrible work ethic, that, that was actually kind of a neat little thing there. Atmosphere building, it's nice. While monsters are mostly made of magic, humans are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. Well, I'm disappointed. They'll never get a bull They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Bullet pattern birth... I'm not even sure what that is. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Well, that's... a severe design flaw. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill. Um, let's end the chapter here. Uh-huh. Monster History, page four. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved the harsh cold, damp swamp land, and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. 
New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made out of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven that their souls don't need these things to exist. That got deep. Jesus, game. That's depressing. Let's move on to happier things. Such as this mailbox. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? I'm pretty sure this is a federal fence, but sure. It's empty. Aww. Poor Papyrus. Alright, so this is their house, then. It's locked. Well, that was a delightful little jaunt. It's locked from the inside. Well, that's unfortunate. The music stops, and a lone ice cube floats across the screen. Delightful or terrifying? You decide. I gotta stop using the word delightful. Oh. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Projecting much? Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... Dot, dot, dot. No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh, shit. Gotta fucking love this song. <laughs> Papyrus blocks the way. All right, well, we'll act. We're, not, we're obviously not gonna try to kill Papyrus. He's too damn delightful. I mean, just look at that smile. <laughs> also, he's, I think he's wearing mittens. Okay, let's check. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyeh heh heh. Nyeh <laughs> Awesome. Well then, that was easy. Papyrus whispers, Nyeh Uh, well, I don't want to insult him. Let's flirt. What? F flirting So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! <laughs> I guess this means I have to go out on a date with you. Let's... let's date later, after I capture you. Well, you're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Alright, let's flirt with him some more. Oh no! L let's date later, after I capture you. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Cause I'm... Oh my god, we have 30 out of 20. Oh, that's right, it's from the inn. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear, what to cook for his date. Please, no, no, no more spaghetti, please. Act, Papyrus, and flirt. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Okay. Let's date later, after I capture you. Okay, so we just have to spare him at this point. All right. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. A... What form of the word bone are you using here? And B, he has no ears. Okay, so we just spare him then. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Okay. <laughs> oh, Papyrus, you gotta mix it up a little, buddy. Just a little bit. 
Whoa! That was a different thing. You're blue now! That's my attack! Well, to be honest, that was quite the twist. <laughs> oh, the music fucking picked up. Nice. You're blue now. Dabbity dabba die. Now, flirt some more. The Pyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. L let's date later, after I capture you. Okay, so I gotta jump over things now. Alright, simple enough. Yeah, there we go. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. Let's flirt some more. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. What? I'm not thinking about dating! Hit. 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 Oh, shit. Hit. Nope. Hit. Hit. Okay. I gotta get a little bit better at these controls. I, I, I'm on episode, like, what, five, six, and I'm terrible still. Papyrus dabs the MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Anime powder? Alright, well, let, let's spare him. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Thanks, Papyrus. Nope. That didn't do it. Okay. Alright, there we go. Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ears. These are very weird things you're dabbing behind your ear. Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Nope. Oh. Is this your special attack? Because it's actually a little difficult with these controls. Papyrus dabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Ew. I can almost taste my future popularity! Uh, uh, okay, I got the rhythm down. The rhythm of the boogity beat. Oh shit, that was cheap. Papyrus dabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Oh. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Oh shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Hang on, I'm getting a bunch of pop-ups here. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, damn you antivirus, damn you McAfee, it took me out of my game. Oh, I hope they didn't screw up the recording. Okay, Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> also, hello, I'm low on health. Uh, let's use a bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle, your HP was maxed out. Nice. Papyrus, unparalleled Spegator. Spegator? Yeah. Oh, uh, I was anticipating that second one too much. Damn. At least you get, like, little invincibility frames. That's nice. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Flirt! Papyrus is too- Oh, right, 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 sorry. Undyne will be really proud of me! There we go. Made it. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. Ah, damn. Papyrus is preparing for a bone attack. Uh, let's just keep sparing him then. The king will trim a hedge in shape of my smile. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is not cool. No. No. <laughs> oh, God. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Spare. Jesus Christ. My brother will? Well, he won't change very much. Probably not. He'll be as lazy as ever. <laughs> I'm really hating these attacks. Smells like bones. You, unicycle. Oh, because I already used hat. All right, I get it. You eat the unicycle. You recovered 11 HP. I'll have lots of it. I'll have lots of admirers. But uh, well, I'll, I'll probably be dead by then, buddy. Because uh, it's kind of embarrassing to say, but Papyrus is kind of kicking my ass. Papyrus is preparing for a bone attack. Does he have any other kind? Or anyone like me as sincere as sincerely as you? I flubbed that line. And hit. And a hit. Nice. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Someone like you is really rare. Uh, no. Oh fuck you. Papyrus whispers. 
I'm gonna I'm go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and use the thing. You eat one half of a bicycle. Your HP was, ma was maxed out. And dating might be kind of hard. Okay. Nailed it. The Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. Yet again! After you're captured and sent away... Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> okay. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Spare. Ah, who cares? Give up! Never! Well, actually, I, I might consider giving up, because, uh... This is a lot harder than it looked. Smells like bones. Spare. Give up or face my special attack. I thought turning me blue... Oh, that, that wasn't your special. That was your blue attack. Ah, fuck. Okay, I was expecting like a I was expecting a trick shot there. Uh let's use another unicycle. Or unicycle. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack. Hit hurt. Hit Ah, fuck. Papyrus is cackling! <laughs> Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Oh god. I, I, I'm gonna die in the later levels, man. Like, Jesus. Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told him in his frowning. Oh, Couldn't have been that bad. It's a good thing I bought a bunch of these. This is your last chance before my special attack. I, I've been sparing you, isn't- doesn't that count? I mean, I'm not exactly giving myself up, but I'm not fighting. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Just let me live. Behold! My special attack! <laughs> what the heck? That's- that's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Hmm. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Oh god. I I if this goes on too much longer, I'm gonna die. Huh, <laughs> here's an absolutely normal attack. Well. Jesus! Je oh my god! No! Fuck all this noise. Shit. It's the, it's the dog again. Cool. Dude. It's a little skater. Oh, we can just keep going up. Cool. Whoa, that's a big bone. That's what she said. Okay. Okay, there's a trick after that one. No way. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Sure. No, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity sh will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, or what a loser. <laughs> oh, God. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well, then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> oh God, Papyrus! Who knew that I? Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I I, I wouldn't consider using that tactic for anyone else. So th God damn it! 
I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I will give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! Well, thank you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. So and Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well. He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain just... I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> what? What? You're a fucking cartoon and I love you. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so let's find a save point, and then I'll end the episode here, because we made a, we made some uh, decent progress today. Awesome boss fight. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let me let me check my time. Uh, yeah, a little bit longer. We'll just make it to the next. Oh, there's the next save point. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk to everyone here, and then uh, then we'll end it. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants in this world. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hey, it's Monster Kid. Yo! Are you sneaking out? Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Well, it's good to have aspirations, kid. Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever you say. What's she up to, Sansy? What? You haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grilby's, wanna come? Uh, hmm, uh, yeah, I guess this episode will go a little longer. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? <laughs> yeah, it kinda was. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, I call him Sansy, too. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> Bad. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Oh, I guess it was a whoopee cushion. Sometimes weirdos just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, I guess I'll go with a burger. Hey, this sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of burg. Was he combing his skull? So, what do you think? Of my brother? Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off when he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Neat. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? That I don't see why not. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. <laughs> Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Well, I mean, you don't have a stomach, nor do you have an ass, so what are you scratching? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree that Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. He begged her to let him be in it. Of course. I mean, of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, 
Still a work in progress. Yeah. Oh yeah, wanted to ask you something. Why did the music stop? Oh. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Uh... Yes? So you know all about it? The Echo Flower. Oh, okay, I, I thought you were talking about, uh, you know, that one guy. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me that... Well, Papyrus told me something interesting about that the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to them. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That was ominous. Seems that Flowey's like messing with more people than just me. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Uh, no. Eh, just couldn't. I really flubbed that line. Eh, just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. But, but, useful information, Sans, thanks. Okay, so we're back in town. Uh, I think the date with Papyrus is actually completely optional, but I want to go ahead and do it anyway. I'm going to do it in the next episode, though. So let's go ahead and save. Oh, you know what? Before I go, I need more shit. How can I help you? Uh, you can help by getting me things that I need. Uh, let's see, how much do I have? 56, and this costs 30. Ooh. Hmm. Well, in that case, I may as well just get two cinnamon buns, because they, they heal more. I'll be getting the same amount of uses, since I can only buy one of these and it gets two uses. Or I can get two of these. So either way, it's two uses, but I'm getting more health for my buck. Alright, so we'll do that. Thanks for your purchase. Thanks for your purchase. Cool. See you later, bunny lady. See you! Alright, let's do a quick save. And the game is saved! Alright everybody, that'll about do it for this episode. As always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one, where we shall wine and dine the Great Papyrus and gain his favor. I'll see you guys then. This music is so whimsical!